Division fight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape now for this featherweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, mystery. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. <laughs> oh, blocks that kick to the bottom, nicely done. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Massive kick to the head. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. 
head kick is blocked. No damage there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Went for the inside leg kick. You got to check these low leg kicks. Circling to his right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Right hand punch from the clinch. Left hand punch from the clinch. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Went for the inside leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And they separate. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needed to go. Well, missed on that one. Throws the right hand there. with the straight line. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, blocks the shot. to go in the round. 15 seconds. Ooh! What a round. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Right. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Strong knee attempt, but it's blocked. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. 
he's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Big leg kick land. Nice right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Nice straight punch. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Table inches right there, boy. It was a good night if that landed. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. So a much different approach from us here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Next there, pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. The overhand left is true. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Just misses there with the left. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, collar tie. Good stick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Went back to the well with that hook to the body. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 30 seconds to go in the round. Great punch. 20 seconds to go round two. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Good kick. sequence of kicks there by Lee. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC.
Price, who after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. That kick blocked by Lee. Powerful leg kick lands. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice. As he presses forward with the combination there. Slips the punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relativeness. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch lands through the middle. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Keep your hands up. Use your foot. Right hand upstairs. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, big left hand there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. His leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down and cannot take many of those kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Let's go, guys. Work! Lands the right hand. Lee's kick is blocked. But that punch, no good. Nice leg kick land. Beautiful strike. Authority. Flush right hand is true. Caught the kick. Just missed with the left there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Out of range with that one. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Well-placed kick there by Lee.
stuffs the takedown, no problem. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Set the pace and hit him first. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice head kick. So inside the open guard of his opponent. Gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Back to the feet. Big kick land. Try to establish that jab. It's such a fast leg kick. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Lee. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Right hand upstairs. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Some nice back-and-forth action here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. He lands flush with that right hand. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that, and I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Right idea, poor execution, the counter right, no good. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. 
Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice punch land. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range though with it. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one in the morning. And he's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Dig and kick. Checks the leg kick. That was a thudding leg kick. That's a big strike right there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Punch is blocked. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Punch over the top. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Right hand upstairs. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Huge block there. Oh! Three minutes now to go to decide this one. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. You either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Hey. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Just unable to quite find that range. Back and forth we go. Big kick lands. He loaded up that right hand too. Turn it around. 
That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, big punch land. Watch knees to the body. One minute to go in the fight. Nice kick landed there by Lee. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, huge block. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Final seconds of the fight. The final horn sounds. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight and he gets dominant.